Hello guys, this is the first video uh, of the lecture on uh, squares and square root from Zolver e -learning. Okay, so in this video, I am going to teach you about some basic introductory things of uh, square numbers and square roots and some properties of squares. Okay, so basically the chapter is uh, squares and square roots and in this first we have some introduction okay and uh, some properties in properties we are going to learn uh, like uh, properties of numbers on unit plates place and uh, number of numbers between space okay so here we go first of all uh, I want you to ask yourself about uh, what comes in your mind when you hear the word square? Okay, so it is it. Square means a four sided regular polygon, and everybody will think about that if asked. Okay, so square is this a four sided regular polygon. Okay, what it means if I say I have to find the square of a number n of a number 2 of a number 3 or anything else what it means it means that we have to find the area of the square whose side is side length is n okay side length is n and what is the area of the square side side length is n the area is of course n into n and so for any number n squares is defined as n multiplied by itself and this is how we represent square n square okay so we can find that square of 2 is 2 into 2 that is 4 square of 3 is 3 into 3 it is 9 so uh, coming to the uh, property section first property for the square is that in the figure you can see that a square is always divided into two parts two triangles square is always divided can be divided into two triangles okay and that's the reason why a square number like this this is a square number a square number like this can always be divided means can, can always be written as a sum of two triangular numbers you know what is triangular numbers triangular numbers is something like this you have two objects let's say one two objects can you form a triangle by joining these objects no but if you have three objects you can form a triangle okay so this is a triangular number if you have four objects you cannot form a regular triangle uh, Isosceles rectangle triangle. I mean here. Okay. So if you have five, again the triangle is not formed. But if you have six, we can form a triangle. Six is a triangular number. So similarly, three, five, three, six. Then after that, ten, then fifteen, then twenty-one. These all are triangular numbers okay so we can see here that 4 can be written as 1 plus 3 okay 1 is 1 so it is a triangle number we assume that so 1 plus 3 1 is a triangle number 9 is always 3 plus 6 okay and similarly 4 squared that is 16 is always mm, 10 plus 6 
So any square number can be divided into two triangular numbers. And this is the reason why every uh, square can be divided into two triangles. So this is the triangular property. This is a very interesting property of uh, square numbers. Okay. So moving forward, we have to analyze the unit digit of any square numbers. Okay. So for analyzing this, we are going to add some data here. So look at this data here. Okay. What can you see? Square of number 1 is 1, square of number 2 is 4, 3, 9, 4, 6, 6. So, anyone can see here that something is repeating. The units number 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1, 0. Then again, 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1, 0. Okay? It is like this. We have 1, 4, 9, 6. 6 and 5. Only these 5 numbers is repeating. Means 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, then again 6, 9, 4, 1. 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, then 6, 9, 4, 1. And it is always repeating uh, till the end, till the infinity. It is always uh, these 5 numbers. Okay. So any number having these number in the unit place need not be a perfect square but every perfect perfect square have to be these number at its units place okay so this is the first property for the units place of the square so let me have an example uh, like mm, let us see we have a number which is mm, 2, 3, 0, 4. And you have to find the square root of this number. You don't have to find the square root of this number. You just have to do what? You have to find the number, the units place of the square root. Okay? So you see that 4 is here. Okay? Now 4 comes in 1 to 10. 4 comes in the units place of which number is square? 1 square, 2 square. So 2 square is 4. Okay. Again, uh, 6, 7, 8. So 8 square, which is 64. So 4 and 4. So unit place is in 2 or 8. So for finding the square root of this number, one data we have is that uh, the unit place must be 2 or 8. Okay. Similarly, you can have any number like uh, uh, 1, 4, 4. So it, it also has 4. So the unit place must be 2 or 8. And uh, you know the square root of this number which is 12. So unit place is 2. Okay. So again, but if you have something which is unit place is 5. Let's say 2, 2, 5. 2 to 5 is a perfect square number and the unit place is 5. Okay. So 25 square is 25. The unit place is 5 and it is the square of number 5. So the unit place must be 5. Okay. And about the other, you can think it is 1 of course. 15 square is 225. Okay. Let's take a number 625. So unit place is always 5. What about a 10 space? It is 25. Okay, it's easy to find, remember, square root and squares of a number by this method. The repeating number which is at unit space of the squares. Okay, so the next property I'm going to teach you for the squares is um, how can you find the numbers? Number of numbers, non-perfect square numbers between two perfect square numbers. Okay. So two perfect square numbers. Let us take an example here. Mm. 
2 is a perfect square number? No, 2 is not a perfect square number. So, another example, 4. 1 is a perfect square number? Yes. 1 is the square of 1 itself and 4 is the square of 2. So, what is between 1 and 4? 2, 3. There are two numbers between 1 and 4. Okay. Another, let's say 4 and uh, another perfect square number is uh, 9. Okay. So, in between we have 5, 6, 7 and 8. Four numbers. Okay. Let's take another example. Perfect square and 9 and another number is 16 which is square of 4. So, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. Okay. So, can you see a pattern here? Like 1 is 1 square, 4 is 2 square, 9 is 3 square. So, 1 square, the number between 2 numbers is 2. 2 square, the number between these two numbers is 4. 3 square, the number between these two numbers is 6. So, 2 is multiple of 2. So, 1 into 2. 4 is again 2 times 2. 6 is again 2 times 3. And let's take another example between 16 and 25. Okay. This is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 16 is 4 square. So 8 is again 2 times 4. Okay. So always if you have two numbers, two perfect square numbers, which is n square and n plus 1 square. These are two perfect square numbers. Then all the non-square numbers between these two numbers is always 2 into n. Okay. This is a fact to remember. This is always 2 into n. No matter how big the numbers are. Okay. Let's take uh, some more examples. And some exercises on what we have done today. Which is... So, let's start with some questions, like uh, the first question is, let's uh, have a square number, any square number you can think of, like uh, uh, 625, 625 and uh, 576 and uh, 10,000 okay so these are numbers you have to tell me the square root of these numbers are even or odd okay so try to pause the video and find out even or odd so I think you have got it 625 the Units place is 5. Okay. So the units place of the square root must be 5. Okay. So it must be odd number because the uh, units place is 5. Now the in this number the units place is 6. So the units place in square root can be 4 or 6. So in either of the cases the number must be even. Here the units place is 0. Okay. Units place is 0. This means that units place must be 0 for uh, the square root. Okay. So, and if the units place is 0, the number is always even. Okay. You got it? This is so easy. So, our second set of questions will be like this. Uh, you have to find out the number of uh, like uh, okay between 5 uh, 27 square and 28 square how many numbers are there between these two numbers 
okay try to think and uh, find the answer pausing the video okay i think you have done it so always there is a formula for two numbers this number is 27 square this one is 28 square so the number between these two must be 2 into 27 because n is 27 n plus 1 is 28 so 2 into 7 is always 4 54 so the answer is 54 okay so mm, i think this is all for today and uh, in next lecture we would learn some other properties for squares and square roots okay thank you